Here we go. Like they're not the program isn't running, guys. Like desktop presenter. The desktop presenter. Mine is on. You have to put it on display too. I did. You're, you're <laughs> yeah. still on Doodle Bob Thursday then. Yeah. Why are you guys getting so? Just supposed to be. I like first episodes. Oh, here we go. Good morning, Ephrata. I'm Sam. I'm Gerald. And today is Thursday, March 1st. Please rise for a moment of silence oh. and a pledge to the flag. Probably shouldn't have hit the screen like that. The screen, where did it hit? It bounced off you and hit the TV screen and it just flashed. Oh, yes. Oh, look, it's frame of size. <laughs> <laughs> Attention to ski and snowboard club. No snow, no ski. In other words, you, you aren't going skiing today, sorry. You've noticed some changes as we pack up for the media center renovation. The time has come. All classes, study halls, flex, obligation time, NHS passes, etc. will no longer be accepted in the library beginning March 19th. No! <laughs> the last day to use the media center and its resources for any reason is March 16th. Thank you for understanding. Why? To create a fantastic space for you. Attention juniors and seniors. Hack Experience Day is Friday, April 6th. This is a great opportunity to do the following. Discover over 100 plus programs. Take part in Hack Chats with faculty. That's Hack Chats with faculty. Participate in a mock classroom situation. Learn about taking classes while in high school. Tour the campus with student ambassadors. Have lunch on us. Well, not us, but them. First come, first serve. Please stop by guidance to pick up a permission slip. The deadline is Friday, March 23rd. Attention seniors, the Ephrata National Bank scholarships, including the Hitchman Scholarship, are now open. Log on to Navion's Family Connection to complete your applications. Apply today and get free money for college. Application and all materials are due by March 31st. This is a reminder to all students in grades 9 and 10 to log into your community portal to complete course requests for next year. Be sure to research all course options, checking out the syllabus for each course you are interested in, as well as considering pathway elective opportunities for next year. The course selection portal for sophomores closes at midnight on Thursday, March 1st. Again, for current 10th graders, you must complete course requests through the community portal by midnight today, tonight. Don't delay. Select courses for next year. Today. Now, over to the uh, Easter, the Hebrew. <laughs> What's the news? Hebrew, the Hebrew. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, right. I was like, hey, I guess these sunglasses make me look pretty sharp. Ah. Uh, 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 Hope Hicks, White House Communications Director and close advisor to the President, stepped out from a post yesterday. Her decision came a day after she was made to give testimony to a panel investigating Russian interference in a 2016 presidential election. Although both Hicks and the White House deny any kind of correlation, the independence of these two events is highly unlikely. She reportedly told the impaneled investigation that she has only told, quote, white lies on behalf of President Trump, an unideal admission for a communications director. Hicks stated that she was leaving the campaign because she felt she had, quote, gotten as much out of it as she could, end quote. Trump will most likely appoint a replacement for Hicks in the next few days. On this day in history, President JFK, more like JF Bay, introduced the Peace Corps in 1961. During his campaign, Kennedy had mentioned that a new army should be added to the U.S., one that was made up of civilians who would volunteer to help underdeveloped nations any way they could. Kennedy created an executive order to have a sort of trial run for the Peace Corps in, in, on March 1st. And when Congress saw the impact that the U.S. could have a nation susceptible to communism, they voted to make the Peace Corps a permanent organization. Now over to the media center squad with Wudge. What? <laughs> you think Trump's going to lose his, uh, his redneck, uh, the redneck voters because Hicks just stepped out? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 if people want to get mad about that, I would, I'd love that. 
Yeah, and but people will get mad about it because it's effort and they get offended by everything really easily. All right, the freaking media center squad. It's the same guys every freaking day. <coughs> what do you mean? That read the lunch? No, no, no. It's uh, the same group that gives up. Like, I'm yeah. gonna zoom in really close on the on the little on the little disc. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. You're the you're DC Oh, is that period three? Uh. Luce. <laughs> That's gonna show up a lot more. Luce. Luce. I'm gonna zoom in. Okay. Really close on your face, slowly. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. Attention, all athletes that signed up for spring sports. All physicals and research forms are due to the athletic office ASAP. Oh, my goodness. Attention, any boy who has signed up for lacrosse this spring, there will be a mandatory team meeting on, on today. It's today, March 1st at 5.30 p.m. in Coach O'Donnell's room. Please meet at the back of the school by the boys' locker room at 5.20. If you have any questions, contact Coach O'Donnell. That's it for sports. Not only do we have Minithon coming up this week, but next week we have our very first student faculty basketball game. Thursday, March 8th is the date. Do you want to see your favorite faculty such as Dr. Galen, Senior Sorello, Mr. Kishpaw, and middle school basketball coaches Mr. Edmondson and Mr. Smith attempt to beat the high-flying, bucket-scoring senior basketball players? I know I sure do. Join me and many of your friends at the Minithon student faculty basketball game on Thursday, March 8th at 7 p.m. to watch the showdown of all time. It is only $5 and all donations go to our Minithon total. Help us crush childhood cancer with your attendance at this incredibly fun event. Again, that's next Thursday, March 8th at 7 p.m. Bring your friends and families. Well, I'll be there! The <laughs> <laughs> Sun University will be hosting a college fair on Thursday, March 15th. This fair attracts approximately 150 different colleges, universities, and trade school representatives. This is a great opportunity for 11th graders to interact with and learn about different colleges. The itinerary includes attending the college fair, having lunch in the middle of the dining hall, and taking a campus tour. If you are interested in attending, please print out a field trip permission packer from Schoology. Space is limited, so don't delay. Join us. Well, not us, but Join everybody in fighting yeah. to beat childhood cancer by participating uh -huh. in this week's Spirit Week. Show off your style yeah. by dressing up according to each day's uh -huh. theme. Uh -huh. Today is Hawaiian. Oh, yeah. Hawaiian, Steve. Oh, yeah. huh. Friday is our mini fun shirts for strength. Oh, yeah. Oh, Which yeah. day you that you participate strength. will be a great way to show support for Spring this way! Don't forget, effort is mini fun. Don't will be forget. Held March 3rd. Don't delay. Delight. March 3rd. Register. We hope to see you there. Be there. That's it for us. I have a doodle ball Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. Me hoi, me noi, me noi. Me hoi, me hoi, me noi. Put all the cameras on Ethan's face. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, so that's, that's, that's one. Wait. That's another. Wait, oh no. <laughs> all cameras on Ethan. Such a <laughs> break. And then just cycle through them very quickly. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> cycle through them really quickly. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was lit. Very good. Wow. Alright, time to reset the cameras. <laughs> yeah. Can you sit down on the chair for me? Yeah, yeah. Well, we're just gonna see more. Alright, Ethan, can you sit in the left main desk chair? Yeah.